All right, so I did run out of time on my recording. So here we go. Uh, we'll talk about the drag and drop um, for part two. And again, um, I just basically did exactly what I do with the code. And I'll let me call up the code here uh, just so you can see how it how it um, how it looks and how the things are similar or different. Um, So in the code for the variables, I put diff equals to zero, angle equals to zero. Um, so for the, the drag and drop, I'm gonna get rid of that, let's see. So in the drag and drop, um, I just use the set variable, which is under control, set uh, variable diff equal to zero, right? Angle equal to zero just sets up those variables. Uh, again, we're still bouncing off the walls, all right? And then um, I did with drag and drop exactly what I did with code. So an if statement in code, so if, if you're if you're testing for something, if you want to check to see whether something is, is um, doing something, you're looking at the test variable, um, or these are all questions really. Anything that has a um, stop sign look to it, that's an if statement in disguise, right? So if I drag this in, I'm testing a variable, and the variable that I'm testing is other dot y and y uh, versus versus the y of the ball, um, and looking to see whether it's greater than. So I get that if other y is greater than y, um, even though I didn't code it. And then I have a block. So in code, the block is the squiggly bracket, right? It says do everything in between. Um, those open and close bracket um, and then I'm using variable set variable diff to exactly what we did here other y minus y um, divided by the other sprite height divided by 2 um, and then we're gonna set the angle to again it's 45 degrees times the the, the, uh, the percentage the difference um, and then we're using for our move instead of re instead of using what we have been using probably up to this point, we're using this one next to it, which is um, a free move. Uh, I don't know why it's not popping up there and, and showing the name, but um, it's a move free, right? So it gives us a direction and an angle that is the same as motion set in code, right? Does the same thing. I'm setting it off at a direction at a given speed. Um, and then else, if, and the same thing, right? We're using if otherwise less than y, else if otherwise less than y. Set the variable diff to y minus other y, right? It's the same, same math, it's the same thought process, it's just putting it down in drag and drop versus, um, versus code. And I did set the direction and speed here. Um, I don't need to use the free move. I could have used this and just pushed. I could do it this way, right? With a speed of six, right? Or a speed of, again, I, I mentioned you could use variable. Um, you could definitely still use, if you had um, ball speed or something like that that you're using to control and it was speeding up as it was hitting stuff, you could absolutely put a variable name here and that would be fine too. Like that. Um, else, if otherwise equal to y, do this thing. I could put <clears throat> brackets here. If it's only one thing, it will just make the if statement um, apply to the very next line. So because there's because there's only one thing, I don't really need blocks. It is good form to, to think about it that way um, because it, it does it does kind of push uh, out the block of code below it and it kind of um, makes it clear what is this affecting even if it's one thing um, if I didn't have these and I put something else um, say I put move that that way with uh, speed of six it would um, shoot it off directly to the right and then immediately um, immediately set it going down so actually you wouldn't even see it go to the right um, it would just kind of uh, negate what's what's going on here, so um, and in fact, 
it would negate all of this stuff um, because it's outside the line of code. It would do whatever the, the thing, it would set the speed of the, the ball and it would get to the end here and it would just do that, do that uh, movement and it would um, get in the way. So you just want to be careful what what you're asking it to do. You got to think like a computer sometimes and say, okay, if I'm dumb and I'm just doing exactly what I'm told to do, you know, um, what is that? <laughs> you know, sometimes we, we make assumptions about what you want the computer to do and um, those don't all, always pan out. I didn't use a draw action here. I think you guys know how to do draw actions uh, by now, uh, but draw, drawing text is just in there. So <clears throat> that's it. So I hope that was helpful. Um, and I hope it makes sense. If it doesn't, um, you can always send me a message on Slack and I can uh, clarify anything. Thanks.